Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Java tutorial series. So, so till now we have covered the theoretical part of the array and we have also done uh, some uh, easy level questions of the array and in this video we will be talking some uh, medium level of uh, medium level question of the array uh, which requires some searching and sorting techniques. Uh, so till now I have not discussed you the not discussed the searching and uh, sorting algorithms which are there in uh, for used used in java arrays uh, so in our upcoming videos we will cover that uh, don't worry uh, there are a number of the sorting techniques and uh, searching test there are two, uh, two searching techniques are there uh, which is linear search and binary search we will cover that in our upcoming videos so what will be the agenda for this video is uh, i will be covering this uh, three uh, medium level questions which are uh, arrays arrays questions uh, so i again these 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 many questions are not enough for you to practice you just have to get your hand dirty on the programming uh, so what what i suggest you you just go to the any any of the portal uh, geeks for geeks hacker rank and hacker, hacker earth uh, register there uh, try solving uh, questions on the arrays set the difficulty levels as easy medium then hard okay so practice more and more so that you can uh, improve your logic building okay so let's get started uh, what is the question uh, write a java program to test if an array contains a specific value so what this program uh, what this in this question what we have to do is we have to search for an element uh, which is given by the first of all we require an array and inside that array you will be getting one uh, element which is of uh, arrays arrays of type int uh, arrays holding the integer values itself and we, uh, you have to search that element inside that array whether that element is present inside that array or not if that if that present inside the array you just simply return true uh, it's a boolean value and if that element doesn't uh, present in, inside that uh, array you just simply return false okay on the console okay so let me get into my ide and i will just simply comment this out uh this is our previous video solutions okay and i will uh, simply comment and here i will again comment and i will write medium question one okay medium level question so on okay uh, now i will be creating one method uh, inside this and since the since this method is public i will declare it as public and i will declare it as static because i have to call this inside my main method and which is the static method okay static uh, and this is this will return a boolean value either true or false it will return true if that element is present inside the diary and it will return, return false if that element is not a present inside the diary okay and i will write uh, my method name as contains contains means whether that element is con uh, inside the diary or not you can write anything whatever you want and i will pass my array uh, and item means the value that we ha we have to search inside that array okay uh, and i will simply write one for loop and for i will write integer i in array what we have to do uh, we have to check if the array at i th index is equals to equals to mm, is equals to equals to item is equal uh, equal add at at index uh, not just uh, sorry uh, I have followed the traditional for loop over here I just have to write i is equals to equals to item uh, sorry about that and I will write inside this return return true okay uh, return true I guess this work cannot return a value from a method with void void result type uh, why am i getting oh wait I, I forgot that this is the separate method uh, let me just remove this my main method so that program can understand this is as a separate method 
okay uh, now it's okay uh, i will import my main method over here why am i not getting wait a minute let me check this whether oh yeah sorry i have not ended the method now it's working fine i will get my main method okay now it's working fine okay and after this for loop uh, when, when the program execution will get uh, at line number 36 when we doesn't uh, find any uh, element which matches to the item that we have passed to the method okay so in that case we simply return false okay now it's okay and now we will call that method inside this main method uh, for that before that uh, i will declare one array int uh, array which is equals to uh, i will simply assign the values over here itself uh, 10 comma 20 comma 23 comma 30 comma 45 you can give uh, any value whatever you want and after that i will require one uh, variable uh, item means the i value that we want to search inside that array and uh, let's suppose we have to search 23 inside that array okay and now i will just sprint uh, the call the contents method and i will pass array and item as my parameters to it okay uh, now if i run this since the 23 is present inside this array the expected output should be true yes it is returning true and now if i give a uh, item value as number which which is not present inside the array then in that case i should get false yes it is getting show, showing false okay now it's working fine so this is the solution to the question number one and what is the question number two second question that is fifth question write a java program to find the index of an array element so we have to find the index of an array element okay so in this case uh, we want we have to get one array from the user and we want one uh, item like here we have declared over here one item should be there and we have to match whether that item is present inside that array or not if that matches we just have to return the index at which the item is present inside that array okay this is the idea behind this question i will comment this out and this statement also and now here i will write one more comment uh, medium quotient 2 and for this I will create I will create one in method by the name of find index because we have to find the index of the element that that is present inside the array and I will write public static uh, the return type should be in because we are returning the index that is the integer value okay the, so the array method name is find index and this method is uh, receiving one array as an input array as an input and integer uh, t let me give it as t okay okay so what we are going to do inside this we will check uh, one base condition if my uh, if the array is equals to equals to null uh, then return minus one this is a ba uh, this is called as base condition in programming uh, you have to check the corner cases uh, whether mm, these are the cases uh, that you need you need to handle or this will uh, improve your space and time complexity of the uh, your algorithm uh, because uh, if the array is uh, array is null means array is empty there is no point checking uh, doing all those uh, running those loops doing all those processing tasks then it, it you can simply return minus one because uh, if the array is null you are not getting going to get that element inside that array okay so this is the base condition that we have to check and 
now here i will write integer length equals to array dot oops sorry array dot length and i will require one more variable i is equals to zero and i will declare one while loop and inside this i will write i is less than my length okay uh, i'm doing this task i'm running this while loop whenever my i is less than length so initially my i's value is zero and length value is uh, is the number of the elements which are present inside that array okay it can be anything 5 10 whatever the number of array, uh, number of elements you pass inside that array and inside this for loop i will check one if condition if my array at ith index is equals to equals to t okay t is nothing but the uh, value either item that we want to find inside that array in that case we will simply return the value of the i uh, uh, return the i i means the uh, this i's value i represents the current index at which the loop is running so if that element matches the elements that we want to uh, pass uh, that we have passed to the method then in that case return the value of the i that means return the value of the index at which the pre uh, element is present inside the diary and if it is not present inside the diary if it not matches with the elements inside the diary simply do i plus plus means increment the value of the i and again go for the checking whether the i is less than equals to length and whenever my while loop is executed successfully and i till not found the element which is which i want to find inside the diary in that case that means that that element is not present inside the diary in that case we will simply return minus one okay and now uh, i hope this is the thing that we have to do inside this method and now if i go inside my main method i have i will be using the same uh, array and here i will give 23 as an input the item which we have we are searching for in, inside this array and array indexing start from 0 so 0 1 2 the expected output should be 2 okay and i will simply print i will call the method find index and i will pass array and the item to this method okay now if i run this i should get 0 1 2 yeah we are getting 2 on the console because 0 1 2 the element is found at the index 23 and let me give the items value as 2 which is not there inside the diary in that case i should get the output as minus 1 yeah we are receiving it as minus 1 and if i give the array as an empty array base condition we, we also check in that case also we will receive minus 1 yeah we are receiving the minus 1 uh, now it's okay now the one more question was there uh, write a java program to copy an array by iterating the array now uh, we in this questions uh, in this question we have given one array we just have to copy the elements which are present inside one array and take those elements and copy those all elements inside the new array okay so there are several ways uh, by which you can write this code in optimized manner uh, okay so for now till now i'm assuming that you know have you don't have any uh, advanced knowledge about the arrays and problem solving so we'll go the basic approach itself okay uh, so now i will comment it out and i will write one more comment over here stating medium question three and now I will comment this also. Hmm, okay. So I will write one more method over here. Okay. So what we'll be doing, uh, we just we just have to copy the elements. Okay. So in that case, uh, the method should not return anything. Okay. So my, the return type should be void. Okay. So I will public static void. Um, let wait 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 do i need to create one separate method first i think no need is there to create one separate method we, we can do this kind of stuff inside the main method itself 
okay so one array was declared already over here i will use the same array uh, this items value was not required for me to in this question and i will uh, <coughs> declare one more array uh, i will call it as new array new integer of i mean i will give the same one two three four five capacity of five elements inside this array okay and now mm, to do this I, one inbuilt method was there i will use it as uh, okay i will write original array and to print this array inside one go we have one method arrays dot to string and we have to pass the array name to it okay now it's a, so arrays dot to string uh, arrays is the class which is uh, provided by the java uh, in the util package here you can see if, if i hover over here you can see java dot util uh, dot arrays and i guess yeah intellij idea has also imported the following package okay what it will do it will <coughs> get array as an input and it will convert that array in, into the string okay so it will here you can see it, it it is accepting the array as a parameter and it will convert those array elements into the string and it will print all those in a sequence of that we have stored over here okay now i just have to copy all those elements so for the copying purpose i required one for loop uh, which will start from i is equals to zero and which will go till whether till my array dot length and each time i will be doing i plus plus and inside this array i will simply write new array wait 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 a new array at i index means the first index that is zeroth index i will copy the element which are which is present at array at i index means we are just simply taking the first element of the original array and we are uh, assigning it to the value of the value at the zeroth index at the new array S similarly when we go further again checking for the for loop at that time i's value is one we will simply get the first element of the original array and copy it with the first position of the new array okay and after that once the for loop is ended uh, the same thing we are, we are going to do we are going to print the copied array copied array and we will pass new array as an input to this okay now if i run this the same array should get printed okay original array is uh, 10 20 23 30 45 and uh, copied array is 10 20 32 23 30 and 45 so this is the solution to the question number th sixth so i hope you got some idea how these uh, searching and sorting techniques uh, are done in java there are some algorithms uh, like i said uh, linear search binary search and for the sorting uh, bubble sort heap sort radix sort merge merge sort is there there are so many uh, sorting techniques we will also cover that all these algorithms in our upcoming video but before that you should go to geeks for geeks or hacker rank to try solving some uh, questions uh, so that your logic building will get improved uh, in the programming okay Thank, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.